merciful and compassionate Father. We confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health and mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning and good day. We continue our journey through Lent in this first week of the Lenten season, asking in prayer a more fervent contemplative, and loving accompaniment by our Lord in our daily lives, in our daily challenges. Today we celebrate as well International Women's Day. The color is violet. We are violet because of the Lenten season, but we are in solidarity with all the women, especially the mothers in the world, those who are leading us especially those who are sacrificing their lives for us. We honor the women of the world. As we celebrate the Eucharist this morning, we call to mind of God's 
mercy and compassion amidst our brokenness, our stumbling, our sinfulness. Lord Jesus, you teach us to pray. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you lead us to the Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you teach us that we are brothers and sisters of one God, one Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your family, Lord, that through the chastening effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of our yearning for you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return, return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows, and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end of for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From all their distress, God rescues the just. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. From all their distress, God rescues the just. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them. And from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. And those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ King, King of endless, endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive them, if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. My sisters and my brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, 
you are our father, and we are your children, and thus we are brothers and sisters. Amidst our so many differences in race and religion, in gender, in status in society, in everything that divides us, we are actually one. Children of one father, you. Hence, our hearts and minds are bound. We cry with all the victims of the war in Ukraine and in other places in the world. We suffer with those who are suffering, especially in this pandemic. You who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Though you are in heaven, hallowed and holy, you are also here on earth with us, establishing your kingdom in both realms, heaven and earth. You are out there in heaven, our final destination, and also you are here on earth in our daily grind, in our everyday realities. You are thus never far, you are ever near, intimate to us. Yes, every day, every moment, as you give us today our daily bread, our daily needs for our daily lives, you provide as a father does for simply everything, food, shelter, family, friendships, everything we need to survive, to thrive, to live to the full this life you give us, including the leaders we need, who will lead us to you, our Father, leaders and shepherds after your own heart, like the leaders we will support in this coming elections. And you forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Because such is our daily life too, we stumble along the way. We need you, Father, to bring us back on track, which is back to you, be reconciled to you, reconciled with you always, just as we reconcile with those who sin against us and with those who we offend as well. You teach us to forgive, just as you forgive us over and over again, you ask us to forgive others as well and to ask for forgiveness too over and over again. And we beg that you lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil, our natural tendencies, our many attractions, our compulsions and addictions, our favorite sins, our stubbornness and forgetfulness our moving around in the circles of our lives, our constant chasing of our shadows, our so many inclinations to move away from you. Hence, Father, we beg that you lessen this, you stop this, you remove all this if possible, and keep us by your side, freed and spared from evil, protected and safe. Amen. Such is how the Our Father teaches us how to pray, as Jesus himself said. It is how a prayer should be. First, it is personal and intimate, as we address God as you, Our Father. Second, it acknowledges who God is. Father, all-powerful as King of heaven and earth, but also all-gentle and compassionate to us. Third, it acknowledges who we are, our need to survive, and thus our need for God's daily providence, our sinfulness, and thus needy, of God's forgiveness, are being tempted and vulnerable, and thus dependent 
on God's deliverance and protection from all evil. It keeps us humble. Humble, acknowledging God as God and us as no God. Not God at all, but we are God's creation, yet loved above all else. The Our Father is about God's power and gentleness amidst our need and dependence. Prayer is about this dialogue of a powerful and gentle God and me, a needy and dependent person. Prayer is also never just individual, but collective, done in community, as brothers and sisters, bound by one Father, our Father, and not my Father alone. And thus, we never really tire of praying the Our Father as we go through life, as we deepen spiritually and believe more and more that God knows what we need in prayer as Jesus himself insists, as we trust that God knows what is best for us, the best solutions to our problems, the most perfect timing for everything, the grace and blessing we do not ask for, but surprisingly receive. As we believe in all this more and more in our lives, the more we accept and see that prayer is less talk and more silence. Less words and more trust. Less fear and more confidence, more quiet, obedient, surrender to his will in our lives. And thus praying the Our Father contemplatively and lovingly is enough. More than enough. Amen. The Lord Jesus teaches us to call God Father, and so in prayer we approach Him with confidence. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, you are all holy, and your name is holy. May your name be kept holy among us through a life lived according to your word, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, give us what we need for our daily sustenance, as we leave the morrow entirely with you, for our future belongs to you alone, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, just as you generously forgive us, help us also to forgive others and not to keep any form of hate, anger, or revenge within our mind, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Father, give us the grace to recognize and resist temptation for our human efforts are not sufficient to face all the temptations surrounding our daily lives, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Father, let us remember our fragility and mortality, that we may always live in the ways of your commandments. When we appear before you, may we rejoice in everlasting happiness, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays, Alessandra J. Tan, Peng Olaguerra, Tana Lopa, Teresa Cheng, Father Ramon Toledo of the Society of Jesus, Lani Nanyagas, Anne Flores Tobias, and Silvana Diaz, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the healing of Aiden Yesu Perlas, Donny Salvador, Chris Lim, and Emily Quaso, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Charlie Kowanko and Alan Matutina, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the special intentions of Jerry and Harriet Tan, Wiki C, for the Women's International Day, Welvi Kadigoy, Hannah Gonzalez, Kat Carlos, Marivic Ocampo, Butch and Nelia Nazareno, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Katipunan. 
we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, you are so good and so near to us. In moments of need, may we not hesitate to call on you. For we are your children in Christ Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Pray, my sisters and my brothers, that our sacrifice, our offerings and gifts, and all the prayers in our hearts be made acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Creator, Almighty God, that we bring from your bountiful goodness and be pleased to transform this temporal sustenance you have given us, that it may bring us eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Amen. with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that, freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together we pray this wonderful prayer Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray. From every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace, peace be with you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, my friends, the Lamb of God, our Lord Jesus Christ himself, teaching us who the Father is, our brother in one God, one Father. Happy are we invited to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us through these mysteries, Lord, that by moderating earthly desires, we may learn to love the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your loved ones. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is over. We now go in the peace and confidence of God. Thanks be to God.